So I'm Jean-Sébastien Chauvin, uh, the director of uh, Mars Exalté, uh, uh, Exalted Mars in, in English. And the, the movie is in, uh, in the uh, Berlin, Berlin, Berlinale short competition, uh, which is amazing to me. I mean, I'm really grateful to, to, to be selected in this, uh, in this Berlinale, 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 Berlinale short competition. Um, and the movie is about uh, uh, a guy uh, who is um, dreaming in his bed and uh, at the same time we, we, we see a, a shot of the city, you know, at dusk and we, we don't know if uh, he's dreaming about the city or if he's dreaming of something else, you know, it's, uh, it's a bit mysterious. Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean Borbobek. This is the 36th edition of the Teddy Award. And this time we are discussing the film Exalted Mars. Hi, Jean Sebastian. Welcome to the Teddy Award. Hi. It's very nice to have you here. Um, let's start off with what was your inspiration behind the film? It's difficult to say because, you know, it, it, at first it came from a, from a friend of mine, Jan Gonzalez, who is also one of the producers of, yeah. of the movie. And, um, you know, I had difficulties with a feature movie, difficult to make right. and, uh, and to produce. And he told me, OK, uh, uh, I'll give you uh, uh, five um, rolls of, uh, you know, 16 millimeter mm -hmm. and uh, try to do a movie. So it was at first it was just like a, a friendship thing. And um, and then I, I, he told me, OK, because I, I'm also a photographer and I, I, I do a lot of photos and he likes my photos. And he told me, OK, I, I want you to get your inspiration from uh, from the photo you make, you know, in the, in the city, mm -hmm. uh, especially in, in the, you know, in the very close suburbs to Paris, like um, called Montreuil and Bagnolet. Okay. And so. I, I, I begin to sing of it, you know, uh, uh, and to, uh, you know, I, I, I had a response to the desire that Tian told me that he wanted to see, uh, uh, you know, a movie by me. And I saw that I, I really love to, to, you know, to, to do photos in, um, in the dusk, you know, uh, uh, during the dusk uh, when the, the light, you know, is really uh, ambiguous. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I thought also that I wanted to have uh, something more in the movie and, um, and so I, I asked Alain, who is a friend of mine also, to, 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 to play in the movie, some, some, somebody who was dreaming. And I also knew that he, he, you know, he wasn't really, really interested by, um, by porn, you know. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, and so, so I asked him if he wanted to, to be naked in the movie and, to, and also maybe more. And he, he told me, OK, let, let's do that. And uh, so. That's how it, it begins, you know. Uh, so it was really simple, and at first it was, it was really uh, something uh, related to, to the friendship, you know, uh, mm, to, to friendship. Yeah. And it, I think it was uh, so. Alain, who is playing, is a friend. Yann, who produce, and Flavien, who produce, also uh, are friends. So it was really related, related to, to this at first. Yeah, and how was it to to work with Jan? And then the editor of the film was Patrick Shia. So they are all quite well known in queer cinema. Patrick just won the Teddy Award two years ago yeah. for Best Documentary. Um, how was it to, to work with them? Yeah, it was great. As a matter of fact, Patrick is also a friend. Uh, uh, and I really said that because for me, it was important to work with friends on, right. on this movie because it was really a, a special movie for me also because it was the first time, you know, I, 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 didn't, uh, I, I did a movie without uh, writing a script, without uh, dialogues. You know, like it was really uh, doing a movie, and, and day by day, you know, we 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 we, we tried to I, I tried to to think what, what kind of movie it could be uh, when, uh, when when it will be edited, and um, and you know we 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 share really something. Uh, um, I mean, we have something in common. Uh, 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 um, 
regarding you know uh, our taste on cinema and how mm. we we you know we uh, um, we like in movies. So it was really easy to work with them because uh, you know we we you know uh, each week we we. we we organize kind of a cine club in our in our oh, flat, okay. you know, respective flats. So we are really close with uh, uh, with uh, to each other with uh, regarding uh, uh, cinema, what, what what we like in cinema. So it was really easy to work with them because it was easy to understand each other. You know, uh, 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 it was really simple. Uh, I didn't have to explain my ideas, uh, uh, nor to 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 Jan, uh, neither to to Patrick. Uh, um, and also that they, they, they gave me some ideas sometimes, you know, especially Patrick uh, during the, the editing. And um, I don't know, it was really simple because because we, we really we are really close, not only yeah. uh, 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 because we are friends, but also because we have, uh, 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 I don't know how to say it in English, with, uh, what is the right term to, 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 to find, but... Um, it's not a matter of only a matter of taste. It, it's also because we 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 like you know from for 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 instance we I think we are uh, all romantic uh, mm. uh, or lyrical, and so we share that you know uh, yeah. uh, and we we like also to uh, to to um, to deal with emotions. Yeah. So yeah, that sounds very nice. Also, this whole cinema club that, that that you that you guys yeah. it sounds like a, yeah, a very really inspiring great. like place where you can get ideas from and you can like exchange exactly. ideas and stuff i was also wondering about this element of the 16 millimeter film um so was this um was this very important to you that you want you, you particularly wanted to work with uh uh, with analog film, or 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 how did this and how was it to work uh, to work with uh, sixteen millimeter? To be honest, at first uh, it was not my idea. You know, it was uh, because uh, my, my my other movies were all, uh, also all made uh, with uh, digital. Yeah, and um, and I really love you know to 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 see a movie in sixteen millimeter or, or thirty five millimeters. But um, but Jan is really a uh, fan of of, of uh, you mm. know uh, sixteen and, and thirty five millimeters, and he told me, okay, let's try to do a movie uh, uh, in sixteen millimeter, and uh, I was like, okay, it's it's nice to to try it, and uh, and really it was amazing for me. It was mm. like discovering a new um, uh, 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 a new landscape. I don't know how to right. say it, but uh, it was amazing because. You know, uh, uh, it's not only a matter of you know uh, uh, the grain that you have with, with the 16 millimeter, and you know the something more organic, yeah. which I discovered and which was amazing for, to, to to me. But it's also it, it, for me it reintroduced uh, uh, while making it uh, something kind of a ritual because you know you 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 don't know exactly what what is what's going to be the result before right. you know uh, uh, um, uh, developing it. Uh, and for me, it was so beautiful because, you know, with digital, you know exactly what what is going to be uh, 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 right. um, uh, uh, during the shooting. So, and 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 that ritual was really uh, um, I don't know. It was it was kind of magical to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, and now, I, <laughs> I mean, if it's possible, I wanted to to do only sixteen millimeter movie, you know, or something yeah. like that, because. Really, it was it was a it was a real discovery for me because I was I was really uh, um, you know I was like okay I don't want it to be a nostal nostalgic because I'm really right. uh, uh, um, you know I don't really like nostalgia and uh, and I was like okay I hope it's it's not going to be a, a nostalgic movie you know of the the seventies or, or even or the eighties. So I was really afraid of this, not to have the, this color, you know, this uh, yeah. this feeling. And and I hope, I hope, I think it, it, it the, the the that that kind of feeling is not here. I think I, I hope it's like a contemporary also. And um, but I was really it was really a discovery. But at first it really it really came from uh, from Jan, who, mm. who is fully fond of uh, of that kind of uh, you know he, he yeah. doesn't want to make uh, uh, movies in in uh, in uh, digital. So yeah. And, uh, and it was it was really beautiful too because I, I think I, I reached something with with uh, with this this uh, you know sixteen millimeter um, 
I, I, I wouldn't be able to reach with uh, with digital, of mm. course. You know, even yeah. with uh, you know with uh, the sexuality, the, the erotism, the body, it yeah. would have been really much more cold. Right. And uh, um, even we, you know, when when the sun rises uh, 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 and we see that that you know the disc of the of the sun, I think we, it, it would it would be impossible to to add that, that level of uh, organic, you know, like yeah. touching the sky uh, with uh, with right. digital. Yeah, there is a bit of a different depth to light, and yeah. and like warmth comes out of of, of the different yeah. surfaces and and stuff. That that's right. Um, so this element of dreaming um, and and some sort of like magicality or something that's a bit um, transcendent of, of everyday reality is very present in the film. How did you approach that and how did you come to this idea of, of working with dreaming and kind of putting next to each other like the human body and, and the body of a city? Mm. You know, at first it was really like uh, intuitive. I didn't really uh, uh, um, think of it, you know, intellectually speaking. And I, I really wanted to 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 be connected with, uh, you know, my inner feelings uh, uh, more than with, you know, my intellectual uh, uh, thoughts for 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 that that movie. And you know, it it was. Uh, um, when we we shot it, you know, during a, a, a semi, uh, uh, um, uh, how do we say it, um, confinement in French, it's a, a lockdown, during a semi -long yeah. lockdown. So when when we shot it, it was like around uh, um, uh, four, five, six p.m. And it was precisely th that at that time that we, we were we were supposed to to get back to our homes. You know to so and and we have a, we, we 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 have a paper to to do the shooting of course but uh, so we, we we really saw the the city you know empty itself you know uh, yeah. people were you know going going back to to their homes and um and and so it was really kind of kind of intuitive and i, I know that um you know the the place we we, we shot were, were are really close to to where i live and I really love that that area. You know, I think it's kind of magical, but you know, it, it, it's not uh, usually seen as something beautiful because it's like right. uh, you know uh, um, a road really uh, uh, in in the periphery of Paris, and it's like uh, it's kind of uh, you know there are a lot of concrete and and yeah. it's not like yeah, there's no much of nature, so it's not beautiful in itself but at the same time i found it really beautiful and it, this is what I, I really looking i was looking for when when shooting it mm. to try to uh, you know uh, um to give uh, uh, some beauty to to that you know those areas yeah. who are not seen usually as beautiful you know as we you know uh, understand what is what mm -hmm. is beauty usually yeah and so I was looking for, you know, that's why I was looking also for, you know, uh, 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 light events, you know, when uh, when the, the light is, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, how can I say it, uh, uh, is, uh, you know, going through a building or, or you know, the reflection in, in, a, in, a, in a glass. And um, so I wanted really to, and also because, you know, the days we are in, you know, since uh, the beginning of the COVID, are so uh, so harsh, and we, we are living really in in a, in a really uh, uh, you know tough uh, world, I think. Okay. And it was like uh, even for me, it was like you know uh, um, be, being connected again with the with the world uh, around us, you know, yeah. because it's really difficult to even you know when, when there were that you know those lockdown. It was really difficult because Paris is not a really uh, nature uh, city, mm -hmm. nature city, you know, it's really right. uh, uh, concrete and stones. And, and so it was sometimes really difficult because uh, uh, I, I, I really uh, felt that uh, I was in, in lack of nature uh, yeah. uh, uh, living in Paris and especially during the lockdown. So it was like, uh, you know, a bet for me to, to regain, you know, uh, that, that love that I have for, for this city. Uh, because uh, you know, during the lockdown, many people really uh, began to to began to hate the city. Yeah, right. Uh, and wanted to go elsewhere than mm -hmm. in Paris. So it was it was important for me to to you know to um, to love the city again. And I think it was you know it was a 
also a declaration of, of love uh, uh, to to shoot the all, all those area mm. and and regarding the the, the body uh, um it was like also kind of intuitive but i really uh when when editing the movie with, with patrick i really understood that you know the all the the um, the, uh, the the cars you know that yeah. uh, um uh, um are in, in sorry for my english so bad no, no the, the, the cars you know are, are running on the um, on the roads yeah on the road uh, it was like uh, seeing the the inner body of uh of the, of the guy it was like you know the the blood you know oh, yeah, uh, like uh, the running veins. through the the, the vein yeah uh, um, so it was the parallel between the body and the and the city it was like uh, filming uh, uh, the body of the city or filming yeah. you know the inner body of, of alain so uh, that was kind of a connection for mm -hmm. me uh, uh, but I, I, maybe i wasn't totally aware of this when when uh, when yeah. i shot it I see. Uh, uh, and, and it came really uh, clearly when, when we, we, we edit the movie with, uh, right. with, uh, with Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. I was also interested about this erotic subcharge that the film has. How, like, I mean, you talked uh, briefly about it, that it kind of came out with, with the conversation of, with your actor, um, that maybe this would be like something interesting to do. Can you talk a bit more about this aspect of this erotic aspect of the film? Yeah. Yeah, uh, um, you know, I, I was always interested with uh, uh, erotic figuration uh, uh, in films, in in in, uh, in uh, paintings. I mean, in art in general. Yeah. I really, I'm really sensitive to to this. Uh, uh, but I, I, um, I mean, in my other movies, I, I was, um, I don't know why, but um, I didn't really touch. Uh, uh, I, w I wasn't really in touch with, with this. So I was like, okay, let, let's try, and and it was also the the first time that I uh, um, I did a movie with uh, uh, not specifically a gay subtitle a, a subtext because it's not specifically gay, uh, uh, right. um, but for me in a way it's it's gay. I don't know why, you know, it's it's weird. Uh, maybe because you know of uh, some some shots, you know, on the on the on the butt, for for instance, you know, on the back of. Um, and and um, and I don't know why, but maybe maybe it was also related to the you know to the lockdown because I think we, we really uh, uh, experience all of us uh, uh, a lack of uh, erotism. I mean, not not only the body, but in in life in general. You know, the, the erotism of life. It was like being restrained and and, and uh, you know. Uh, uh, so maybe for me also it was a, 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 a way of um, regain that eroticism that mm. I need in, in life in general, not, not only with the body, but and probably that uh, uh, um, filming the body of a, of, a, um, of some somebody, you know, of a guy, a, a, a beautiful body, and, and Alain is, uh, I think Alain is a beautiful person. I mean, in many ways, uh, and uh, and really. Uh, uh, um, how can I say it? Uh, really, uh, uh, I mean, he doesn't have any shame on his body, yeah. of his body, and, and it was really important for me to to film somebody really comfortable with uh, yeah. with his own erotism, and uh, and he really wanted to to uh, when I asked him, you know, I was a bit shy, and I was like, okay, but you, you, would you agree to to be uh, uh, naked, but a bit more than that? Uh, uh, um, and he told me, okay, yes, of course, I'm, I'm really. Uh, uh, I really want to do this because he, he was really interested in this. You know, he's an artist as well. And he's not only an actor, but he's, a, he's an artist. And he, he has made a, a video uh, uh, with, with his own body, uh, uh, with uh, talking about his sexuality and, and the way he discovered he was gay. And, and he likes, you know, uh, 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 um, men and, and etc. So he's, um, so it was easy. It was really easy to work with him, and 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 I remember that when we shot the, the, those um, those moments with him, uh, you know, we were only uh, only three of us. There was you know the cinematographer, the me, and, and Alain, and um, and I was a bit afraid because you know it it's, it's, it was the first time I I, I did uh, I shot uh, that kind of explicit you know explicit uh, sexuality and erotism. So and and uh, and f finally it was. Um, 
I mean, it was so easy to, to right. shot it. It was so, uh, because I think we, we, we also install something like a kind of a, a ritual uh, a thing and really uh, uh, intimate uh, uh, yeah. thing. And, and for me, it was like filming, uh, I don't know, a, a, a flower or a conversation. Yeah. I was, it, was, it wasn't that different. It was like, um, it was really uh, at, the at the same time professional Mm. I don't know how to say it, and and also uh, uh, we were really moved by uh, uh, all of all of us. You know, the, the cinematographer uh, who is not gay. I mean, it, yeah. I was a bit afraid also because it was like he told me no, but for me it's it's a uh, you know it's a it's a manifestation of life, like many things. So let yeah. let's do it, and uh, and I remember it was like kind of magical because uh, everybody was really respectful. And, and everybody was really uh, curious of, of how it could work. And, and, and at the end, I remember that we were really moved. And, and I remember the, the, the cinematographer told me, you know, at the time we, we, we already shot uh, uh, many things in, in the city. Yeah. And he told me, OK, I think uh, this is the first time I, I think we, we had the movie. We, 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 we yeah. find the movie. And, uh, and, and I don't know, that, that was something really magical. Uh, uh, sure. While shooting it, it was it was really a beautiful moment. Really, it, it was for during two days or in two nights, yeah. and it was really uh, uh, I don't know. It was uh, it's difficult to describe because really there was something really magical uh, yeah. uh, in it. And I, I guess I mean I I think the magical uh, can be seen on the screen uh, because I was also afraid, you know, to to do. Um, that kind of, you know, basic erotism, or, or I don't know, or, or not vulgar, because I'm not afraid of vulgarity, but, um, you know, average uh, uh, erotism. Yeah. Yeah. And um, because I wanted really uh, uh, strongly to have, uh, to, to feel emotion, because not right. to, to feel aroused, but but also to, to have that kind of emotion, to feel, you know, the loneliness of this guy, to, to feel, uh, 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 the emotion he have he has also when uh, you know uh, uh, d during all all the all his dream yeah. so it was important to to get that emo that you know very uh, 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 fragile emotion mm -hmm. yeah i think it captured it very well so and it really thank sounds you. like a a beautiful moment indeed so jean sebastian thank you very much for being here with us today and talking about the film I wish you all okay, the best. I hope my, my, my answers were understandable. <laughs> yeah, it was it was all good. Don't worry about it. Okay. And yeah, I wish you all the best for the Berlinale. Thank you. Thank you very much.